Using the secondary view when manipulating objects in 3D space can be helpful. I'm going to show you how to use the secondary view in this lesson. So go to Working Files, open up Photoshop Projects, and double-click on secondaryview.psd. Let me explain how I made this. We've got two objects here that I use presets on to make. This is a donut, and that's a sphere. And I put them both in the same layer. You create them in separate layers, but then you can merge the layers into one 3D layer. So we have these two meshes in one layer. You've seen that with 3D models, and now you can see that you can create these guys here inside Photoshop. What I want to do is I want to put the sphere in the middle of the donut, and I want them both residing on the ground plane. So let's turn on the Move tool by pressing V so you can see the ground plane. There it is. If I were to try to eyeball this, it might be a little tricky to do that. I can take this sphere here, for example, and I can kind of pull it down. Let's say right there. I think it's on the ground plane, but I'm not totally sure, really. I move over like this. It looks like it's centered up, but in fact, it's not. And I can tell it's not because I can look up here at the secondary view. Secondary view has orthographic views. If you were to click on the current view like this, for example, and switch to orthographic, it has this view where things are still giving you a 3D feel, but you lose the perspective, you lose the vanishing point. And that's what orthographic does in terms of how you see things. So I'll switch back the perspective here, but we've got these orthographic views here in secondary. So what I want to do is I want to put the sphere right on the center here, so I can see it from the top there. I want to move it over so it's right in the center. I can zoom in on the secondary view by holding on the Alt key in Windows, the Option key in Mac, and pulling down like this, or up to zoom out. So now I can click on this and maneuver it and sort of see how things line up here. But I can also switch the secondary view down to here, where it's going to be much larger. So I click on this little arrow there, and I switch the view. And now we have the orthographic view here on the canvas. Now I can move this guy over to the center. I can click on the drag tool here and just kind of pull him over like this and center him up right like that. I can see how they line up in terms of the widget x-axis and the z-axis here lining up along those lines. So we've got him centered up nicely. But now we need to get him on the ground plane exactly. So I'm going to switch views again here like this. I'm going to switch the view over here by clicking this drop-down list. I can go right or left or back or front. Go to right here. I can see that he's hovering above the ground plane. I can zoom in again by holding down the Alter Option key here, and I can pull down to zoom in. I can see that he's hovering above the ground plane in this orthographic view. So let's switch views again, like so. I want to pull him down right to the ground plane there. There we go. Okay, we got him centered up and on the ground plane. So let's do this to the donut now. Switch views again. And I'm going to take the donut here by clicking on Donut. I'll slide the donut over and kind of get it semi-positioned, but I can see that it's going to be hard to really get it right. It's a guess, right? But I can use the orthographic views to improve that. So the first order of business is to get it centered up. So I'll switch the view over here to top. Aha. And now I'm going to switch views like this. Now I'll just line it up, getting the X and the Z lines lined up like so. That works out pretty well. Now I want to drop it down to the ground plane, so I'll switch back again like this. And we'll go on over to one of the side views. Let's go to the front this time. I need to bring this fella down, so let's just switch views again. I can bring it right down to the ground plane like that. All right. Let's switch back again. Now if we take the rotate tool here and click, we can rotate the ground plane. We can see how it relates to the ground plane. So that is how you use the secondary view to help you line up objects here in 3D space.